Hi, so we're going to talk about escaping literal quotes. And let's just uh, use this example. Uh, maybe let's assume that we have a variable. So we say let, we can say sample string. And we want something like, um, remember we, also, we must close it and open it with single or double quotes. So we want something like Alan said, and now we need to put in quotes in there. So let's just use the single quote. And we'll say this is a great day, for example, that way. And we want to output this. So console.log and we'll put sample string in here oops sorry and save and now we have Alan said this is a great day so that will work out very well because um, we are using um, double quotes for the opening and closing of the string and then we're using single quotes for the quote itself within the string so what if we now want to have double quotes for the quote in the string what what do you think will happen now we'll have an error um, so the, the only way we can get out of this is by escaping the quotes and what I mean is to make sure that the program understands that this um, quotes for the strings for the sorry for the um, statements within the string is different from the opening and the closing quotes for the string. So to do that, we just simply use the backslash um, and we're going to do that now. So we'll just add backslash just before the first quotes that we want to escape so that the system, the program can know that, oh, um, this is our opening tag and here is not our closing tag. This is just another quote within the string. So we'll come to the next one, which is this, and just before it, we'll put a backslash again, just to show that that is not um, the opening quote for the string. And then we have the closing quote for the string. So if I run this one, and let me just save it. And now we can see, since Alan said, this is a great day. And now it's using um, double quotes for the quotes within the string. So that's how to do that. So let's just try the task we've been given here. So let's go on to our task. It says, let uh, a string be um, an empty string. So it says, use backslashes to assign a string to my string variable so that if you were to print it to the console, you would see I am a double quoted string inside double quotes. So let's do that now. So we're going to take this out, um, my string, and declare that. So that's what it is. So then I'm going to just say my string, which we have declared, is now equals to, and I'm just going to take the whole of that. And I'll put it there and I would use double quotes at the end. So what we need to, um, let me hide this. So what we now need to escape is this first string because this is the opening string and this is the closing string. So this first one, I'm just going to use a backslash to escape that. Then this second one, a backslash. Then the third one is this. And this is the fourth one. And let me console, let me lock that on the console. So I'm just going to state that dot log. And now I'm going to put in the variable, my string, and save. And now what we have is I am a double quoted um, string inside double quotes. So this is um, how 
we are able to use double quotes within um, double quotes. Now, um, I've noticed that my text editor was able to um, um, refine that and autocorrect that. But in essence, that's the way to be able to um, use double quotes within double quotes by using the backslash um, symbol. Let's not confuse the backslash with the false slash, which is this, this false slash, or this is the backslash.